Capitol, hunt the secretary, hunt the vice president, hunt the speaker of the house. They literally were saying they were taking direction from him. They were reading his tweet publicly out to other rioters as they chanted, hang Mike Pence. And Senator, on those points that you just made about what the president was doing while all of this was happening and that there was silence while people were calling him begging for help, we had um, famed uh, Republican election lawyer on Ben Ginsburg who said that he felt that there still needed to be a silver bullet from the House managers. And those people that you just described is who he would call as a witness. Who was around the president during those three hours where he checked out during this insurrection to hear what he was doing, whether he was gleeful watching all of this, why he wasn't taking any action. Do you think that hearing from one of those witnesses would really help the case? Uh, again, I, I, I do not understand how you cannot look this prolific tweeting that went on and then the silence afterward. This is a president who knows how to tell people to stop. I don't know how you can't look at the fact that it was well known that the riotous, murderous mob was in the Capitol for an hour plus. And then the two things you hear from the president is one, him replaying his own speech on Twitter, and then telling the mob that Mike Pence had failed them. It is hard to, to even venture to say that the commander-in-chief who swore an oath to protect this sacred space did not fail in his duty, did not betray that oath. Yeah. I, I, we do not need more evidence, in my opinion, to come to the conclusion that, that Donald Trump uh, violated his oath of office. Senator Cory Booker, we really appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.